my dear students i am going to teach you second part of the set theory in second part of set theory you will learn kinds of sets there are many kinds of set and uh, we will take one by one first kind empty set my dear students you can understand you can understand by the uh, word empty empty means there is a uh, no set there is no element in the set empty means there is nothing in the set so a, a set which has no element is called empty set or you can see a glass without water is empty a room without water a room without students is empty so a set without elements is also empty so a empty set has no elements and it can be written as like this example a all the embraces are here there is no element between the embraces and it can be written also phi this is a word phi phi is the notation of empty set or empty set can also be written as like this a is equal to only embraces there is no element so this is a empty set second type finite set finite set it contains finite elements finite set contains finite number of elements which can be counted i think you have get my point in a set if elements are written if we can count the elements then it is finite uh, if we cannot count the element then it is not finite then it is infinite so there are there is a second form finite set contains finite number of elements which can be counted this is the example a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are five elements in this set we can count in third infinite set contains infinite number of elements which cannot be counted example 1 2 3 4 5 up to infinity in infinite set this is the example you can see with the help of example you cannot find out all the elements of a, this set cannot be counted so this is a infinite set in finite set all the elements are counted can be counted in infinite set all the elements cannot be counted so these are the second and third kinds of the set now i am taking fourth equal sets equal sets fourth equal set equal sets so in equal sets element should be same if every element of a is an element of b listen to me very carefully the definition of equal set if every element of a is an element of b and every element of b is an element of a then a and b both are equal examples a is equal to 1 2 3 4 and b is equal to 4 3 2 1 here you see a contains 1 2 3 4 b contains also 1 2 3 4 all the elements of a and all the elements of b are equal so these two sets are equal 
a is equal to b if the elements do not have the same elements then both the elements are both the sets are unequal for example a is equal to 1 2 3 4 and b is equal to 5 6 7 8 elements of a are different from element of b element of b are different from element of a so so therefore alim a and b are not equal sets these are unequal sets these are equal sets if all the elements are same the sets are equal if all the elements are not say, same the sets are unequal next fifth subset subset what is subset i am i want to make it clear with the help of example now a is a set which contain three elements 1 2 3 and b is another set which contains element 5 but here you see all the elements of a are in b all the elements of a are the elements of b also then a is a subset of b if every element of a listen to me very carefully every element of a is an element of b then it is called a is a subset of b this is the definition of subset i want to it i want to make it more clear that if b if every element of b is an element of a then b is a subset of a opposite converse if every element of b is an element of a then b is a subset of a if every element of a is an element of b then a is a subset of b in this condition both a and b are equal if a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a then a is equal to b this is the definition of the subset one is a small set another is a larger set but elements of a are also the element of b then a is a subset of b so every element of a is an element of b in b may be more elements but every element of a should be in b then a will be a subset of b now sixth power set sixth power set this is a very important kind my dear students for the examination point of from the board point of view or annual examination point of view or terminal point of view this sixth kind is very important in this kind you have to find out the subsets or you can say all the subset of a set a set is given you have to find out all the subsets and for that there is a formula 2 k power n 2 raised to the power n 2 raised to the power n for example a is equal to 1 2 3 this set has three elements so 2 k power 3 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 8 it means this set contains eight subsets this is a set 
and the, how much this set contains subset you can find out with the help of this formula 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 8 if this set contains 4 elements then 2 raised to the power 4 if a set contains 5 elements 2 to the power 5 so with the help of this formula you can find out the subset of any set now write down the subset of this 1 2 3 by taking 2 1 2 1 3 2 3 there should be no repetition and by taking 3 1 2 3 and 5 5 is a subset of every set you know it is very important that 5 is a subset of every set whether the set is small or any type of set 5 is a subset of every set or every set is a subset of itself also phi is a subset of there now count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 according to the formula there should be 8 subset and by example you have seen that there are 8 subset and if we consider all the subsets listen to me here very carefully if we consider all the subsets the elements of a subset that is called power set power of a this is a power subset of a all these are the now it these elements these subset becomes elements in this power set now see it very carefully this is a set and find out all the subset with the help of this formula 2 raised to the power n. This is the formula. Because there are 3 elements, 2 raised to the power 3, 8. And we now we have write down all the subset by taking 1, by taking 2 at a time, and by taking 3 at a time, and 5. There are 8 subsets. And now these subset, these are subset. Listen to me very carefully. These are subset, but in power set, these are the elements of PA. Now it becomes these elements becomes these elements become the uh, these subsets becomes the element of power set A. Here these are subset. Here these are elements. So PA is equal to this is a set of subset. This is a set of all subsets. This is a power set. I think you have understood my point. For power set, you have to find out all the subsets of a set. Then put all the subset into power set. Then these subset will become elements of power set. So this is the definition and also this is the example of power set. I think you have understood. Now next universal set. Universal set. 7. Universal. universal set 
I want to make it clear with the help of example. Now you set of all natural numbers A set of all odd natural odd odd natural number b set of all even natural number c set of all prime numbers prime natural number now here you see u is a set u is a set of all natural number b is a set of odd natural number it means b is also a subset of u listen to me because all odd numbers are hidden in this all natural numbers b set of set of a all even numbers this this set is of even number this these even number also are also in this u set because u set contain all natural numbers now c set of all prime natural number all prime natural numbers are also in u because u contains all natural number so the u contains all natural number a contains odd number are also in u b contains even numbers are also in u c contains all prime number are also in u so for this for these sets a b c for these sets a b and c u is a universal set for these sets for a b and c u is a universal set so you have seen u is a big set a b c are small sets and all the elements of a b c are in u so these so therefore all the sets a b and c are in other words subset of u and for these sets u is a universal set i think you have understood my point and this is the definition of universal set universal set contains all this set which are its subsets and all these subsets for the for all these subset u is a universal set so these are the kinds these were the kinds or these are the kinds of a set all the kinds are very important i have i try to make it clear all the definition with the help of examples i think you have understood and uh, later on i will take next part of this uh, set theory wait for a while thank you